And this is the Xbox uh, port of uh, GoldenEye that just recently came out. In fact, it, it came out a couple of days ago, I believe. And um, it's it's a bit of a disappointing port because it's just literally just the original game. Um, which isn't bad, but uh, it's not what people wanted. Uh, obviously, uh, the port everyone wants is the uh, Xbox uh, 360 version. So, the new GoldenEye uh, Xbox and Switch port has just recently been released, and I thought I would quickly just show you... Uh, I have shown this video before, to some degree, the actual gameplay, but this is the difference in the cutscenes, as you will see in a sec. Um, and then we'll get on to the... It's a lazy port, to be honest, but it's still decent. This is the Xbox 360 game that was cancelled back in... It's like 2008, I believe. And as you can see, the graphical differences are tremendous. Uh, this is the version I thought we were getting, and not this kind of lazy ass port that we got. It's a decent game. Uh, the original, of course, uh, but this is the this was the version that we we wanted. Um, unfortunately, uh, the whole thing was um, cancelled. Um, I will show some comparison shots of the uh, intro of that. Oh, got he for a grenade, and he killed his mate in the process. Uh, but yeah, this is it's, it's still a decent game. It's Goldeneye after all, but um. It's a very, very disappointing. Um, this has some issues. Uh, the emulation is nowhere near perfect. Uh, as you just saw there with the uh, graphical... Oh god. The uh, graphical glitch is the game has as well. Um, as you see in the snow, there's the lines. You can see it drawn in. Um, it's not very good. Um, from my understanding, this is just an emulation. Which is uh, very, very disappointing. Um, this is also on Switch. Um, from I understand that this is just essentially uh, been upscaled. Uh, so if you've got a nice 4K TV, um, you will see some benefit from it, I suppose. But um, it's nothing I would really celebrate. It's, it's certainly not the ver worst uh, version. I'd say the Switch version might be inferior but at the same time the switch version has the um, advantage of having online multiplayer so some deal was struck um, there and I don't quite understand how or why it was struck but it's just unfortunately just the way it is uh, these these games are old by very very old by today's standards but um, um, to me old games are usually They've got more effort put into them. Um, they work, which is a good thing. Um, that's not to say there aren't decent modern games, uh, but it is a very, very, it's a very, very different sort of uh, different generations. Uh, I've played the remake, uh, which was leaked a couple of years back. Um, it's excellent. Um, it's the version that everyone deserves, and if. Um, Whoever's said no to, to this remake or doesn't want it remade, it's just it's just a shitty thing to do, really. <laughs> I am playing this on uh, Asian. Uh, just because uh, I've been trying to beat the game on double O Agent and uh, it's, it's very, very difficult. And... I don't know, I, I have a suspicion I'll get to the statue and then that I'll, I'll call it a day because I hate that level. They have made some minor changes to the, uh, as you can see, this. The retina, um, because the game does actually have uh, automatic targeting. Because uh, the game can be quite tricky to aim with and stuff. Um, I've only got two objectives to do, but for some reason, 
I haven't yet been able to achieve even that, so it's something I'm doing wrong, obviously. I mean, this this game uh, is the game is absolute uh, is bedlam in in uh, multiplayer, local multiplayer, four play, four split screen, uh, four player split screen. It's fantastic. Um, easily not quite as good as Perfect Dark, only in that Perfect Dark offers so many more options in terms of multiplayer, but. Um, it still ranks as one of the best sort of multiplayer games you can get from this generation. Uh, you've got to remember that GoldenEye is a game that um, pretty much uh, sort of redefined an entire genre in terms of for, for consoles especially. Right, we need to get the key. I don't know why I've got that retina on because it's a pain in the ass. It doesn't actually help. Sometimes it does, other times it just hinders my progress. So it just depends. But this is a very, very lazy port. It's 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 very, very disappointing. It is still cool to have it on modern generations and there are achievements. Um, I don't know if the Switch version has achievements. I don't imagine it does. Um, uh, but again, you've got the multiplayer, although from what I've been told, the multiplayer isn't, it's not perfect. Um, and it can be quite a laggy uh, experience, apparently. Um, but it's still, you've got multiplayer. Um, uh, and one of the rumours, or speculation, I think one YouTuber, I can't remember the name of the channel. said was um, that apparently the producers don't actually like video games apparently so that's a shame if that's true again it's it's holy crap it's on... uh, which doesn't make a great deal of sense I don't think because um, Video games are probably video games are bigger than music and uh, probably the music industry probably combined. Um, so I don't know why that is exactly, but it's you know you could say it's just the old fogies, but uh, um, most businesses want to make money, and this would be a slam dunk if they just released a a proper remake because everybody most people in the mid 20s late mid 30s like myself would would just buy this guaranteed it's just it's just a guaranteed sale so i don't understand the uh, thinking behind that but then again saying that nintendo have made a lot of weird decisions uh especially with their retro stuff doesn't make any sense the decisions they make nintendo they they've got all these amazing games and yet they they honestly don't do a lot with any of them. They don't re. They they remake the odd few every now and then, but generally, um, it's as if uh, Nintendo have just completely forgotten about their back catalogue of stuff, and also the fact that this some of it is available on Switch Online. But um, I, there's going to come a point, I think, sooner or later, where people are going to be fed up with paying for subscriptions all the time. Everything is a subscription. Uh, games like this, you can get it, you can buy it, obviously the original game, or you can buy, uh, there is a version I believe, if you buy the uh, the rare replay collection, uh, you can get that, um, but you have to buy it digitally apparently, which is weird. Um, so it's an option, but they don't give you the option to buy any of these games, it doesn't make any sense. Obviously, GoldenEye is one that's uh, there's a lot of uh, legality issues with the game in terms of who owns what um, between Nintendo and uh, the Bond licensee. So there's there's a lot that goes on there. So uh, I really don't like this level. Um, the only level I hate more than this is the statue because um, it's just the level where you just get lost all the time. Right, so what objectives have we got? This is only on agent, so I haven't achieved either. Break communications link to the bunker.
There you go, there's oh, also uh, on the graphic side, as I've already said, um, you've got the graphical issues. Uh, it is an emulation, apparently. And um, there is also stuttering and sort of hitching on the game at times, so um, it is not a uh, perfect emulation. I've had uh, frame drops and all sorts of weird stuff going on in this game. Uh, that's why I recommend playing the uh, 360 uh, remake that was leaked. Um, also, that does have some issues just with um, uh, bugs. So there are certain parts of the game uh, where if you blow something up, the game will black screen on you. So there are some technical bugs here and there, but um, generally, uh, Apparently, you can even play it in multiplayer if you've. Um, I don't know how you do it exactly, but there's uh, there is a way of doing it. And the the, the new assets look fantastic. That was a shot in a million, that was. But I will show some comparison shots, uh, videos and stuff of the uh, intro to the, the HD remaster. Uh, I have done a video on the channel uh, at some point. So as I was saying, uh, yeah, so, um, as I've done some comparisons with the re the re HD remake, um, that is the best version to play, by far. Um, well, that doesn't take away from the original version, but as you can see, um, it's very, very dark. This particular level always was darker than the first surface level, but, um, yeah, it's annoying. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it is extremely annoying. Uh, but I mean, GoldenEye is a product of its time. Uh, it's a very, very good game, although graphically it hasn't aged that well. Uh, the core mechanics are still really, really good. And as I said, they have made some changes to so you can shoot with a retina, so it, you can strafe now. I sort of still prefer the original, um, the way you used to aim, but um, I do understand that a lot of people have problems with the uh, N64 pad. Uh, I've never really had a problem with it. Uh, is it janky? Yeah, pretty janky. It, it's not, certainly not the best. Um, but a lot of people love the GameCube controller, and that's a weird ass controller, but I've never had a problem with that either. So it's just, um, I guess it's just personal preference. Now if I could just find the bunker, it is here somewhere. Um, but yeah, this game deserves to have that remake, or another remake done. So that newer generations can experience what we experienced in like the late 90s. Um, uh, video games was... They used to push innovation, innovation was pushed heavily, whereas today... It's, it is pushed, but not to the same degree. Um, the transition from say 2D to 3D was immense when you... You think of games like Super Mario 64, uh, Sonic Adventure. Um, oh God, I'm trying to think of some Xbox games, but there are those out there. Halo, I suppose, would be uh, for the uh, first person shooter genre. Uh, these are um, experiences that you, the innovation just isn't necessarily as pushed as much as it should be. Uh, with a lot of broken ass games. Um, but that's not to say there are good games on modern generations, and there are more good games coming out. Uh, Resident Evil 4, um, Dead Space the remake is apparently really really good apparently. 